Welcome back to my channel, and if you've never been here before, welcome. I'm Alex, and today we're going to be doing this smoky eye that I have on right here. And I did this look with all drugstore products, so everything is really affordable and is things that I really enjoy using. And yeah, so if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. I don't really Snapchat that much. Like, I'm not like one to go in there and like rant or anything. But I mean, if you want to add me on Snap, you're more than welcome to. But without further ado, if you want to see how to get this look right here, then just keep watching. Let's hop right into it. Let's get into this look, okay? Today, I'm gonna be using for my primer, the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. And I love this primer. I'm gonna take my glasses off because can't do makeup with glasses on. And it feels like it just fills in everywhere that you need it to fill in. I'm gonna pump a little bit on the back of my, or on my fingers, just like that, and rub it in. And then I'm not gonna like rub. I'm gonna just, just kinda like glide it over your skin because this is what fills in your pores. You wanna be really gentle with it and just kinda like Pat it in. Mother Nature's obviously hating me right now because my skin is horrible. Oh my god, it's so bad. Literally the freaking worst. Look at this crater. I'm gonna have to zoom y'all in because you all just can't get the full effect. It's a mess. What is that? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's annoying. I do know that. It's freaking annoying. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be using for my foundation the Milani Conceal and Perfect Two in One Foundation and Concealer. This is full coverage. Like, if you want some coverage, this is what you need to do. Like, honestly, it's the best drugstore foundation. When I go and do people's makeup for proms, weddings, stuff like that, I know that this is not gonna let me down. For like, I was, I'd say this is probably like ten, nine or ten bucks to steal. And I'm using shade. I'm having to mix because I'm like an in-between shade where I went to the beach. So I'm a light OOB and natural O2. So I'm having to mix these two. I'm just going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand right here. And then I'm going to mix. That is definitely not my shade. And I'm going to have to mix a little bit of this O02 in here. The only thing about drugstore foundations that I don't like is that their shade range sucks. The shade range is horrendous. For drugstore foundations, you would think that they would have a lot more... Uh, options than they do but they don't but I'm just gonna slap that on there with some tweezers I'm not using a toothpick anymore I do have like a special little spatula thing but I always forget to bring it out when I'm using videos because I just forget so I'm gonna use a beauty blender today because I like it the best and I'm using this is by eco tools and it's made a lot like the morphe one the only difference is it doesn't have a pointed end on this side but it has a, the flat side right here and that's what I really like is the is the flat part of it so I'm just gonna go in and just dip that on my hand and just start pressing this in my skin If y'all been seeing all these crazy outfits at Coachella, I'm going to do a festival look like here soon. But I literally cannot get over the amount of stupid outfits I've seen at Coachella. Like, how are y'all wearing like full face of makeup and like leather? It's hot as balls out there. I don't understand. Honestly, I was mesmerized. I was like, y'all best, y'all must be staying in uh, luxurious hotels because I camp in a tent when I go. And uh, I'm gross and disgusting and makeup is not, is not... I'm not trying to have glitter on myself and like makeup all over me when I'm really sweaty and disgusting because literally it's like 100 degrees every time I go to Bonnaroo, which I guess it's not in June, but still. Okay, so I'm mixing concealers. So now that we got my foundation done, I'm mixing these concealers and I'm using the, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. This is in shade 01 Classic Ivory and this is the Insta Age Rewind in shade Fair Claire. And I'm just going to mix these two because, um, I'm, like I said, I'm an in-between color right now and it's just hard to find my shade in anything. So I'm having to mix everything up. So I'm just going to take this and make like a triangle shape. And I love the applicator on this sucker. It's like a little spongy ball. And then I'm just doing a little triangle down the nose, on the lip, and on the chin. And I'm just highlighting all the points of my face that the sun hits. So like, that sun shining on you? Concealer. And I'm trying to figure... They kill me. Literally kill me. I cannot get through one stinking video. I say it in every video. I can't get through one of them without them barking. The joys of having dogs. 
more than one. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, and this has a glowy finish, like a dewy finish to it. So I'm just gonna go over what I just did. It's just a little bit darker than the fair, which I'm slowly but surely losing my color. But I want this to be the lightest on the inside of my eye. Then I'm gonna set it. This concealer is like a really good drugstore concealer. If you like to be dewy and glowy, if you have um, like dry to, I have combination skin, so I'm like normal to dry, sometimes oily, so it's like a pain in the hind end to find something that is gonna work for me. But I really did enjoy that concealer. This the shade range is horrible. Like with any other drugstore concealer, the shade range sucks. And then what I'm gonna do is take the, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And I'm using it in shade Fair Light because I want to highlight my face. So I use this more like not to bake my face, but to highlight my face because I tried to bake with it and I just realized that it was not a good baking powder. Like it just a baking powder. <laughs> it more so sunk into my skin than you know stayed on top of it and just baked it and brightened. Um, the Cody Airspun is an awesome baking powder, but this one I'm just kind of setting my makeup with it so I don't get any creasing. So now I'm gonna set my face. So I'm just gonna take a the Cody Airspun, which looks like this. This is the cap, and this is literally it smells like baby powder and like grandma's. I don't know how else to explain it. It smells like grandma's and baby powder. And I'm going to put this on with a Mikasa F100. And I'm just gonna dust this on all, all over the face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. So I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I used one that I tried out one the other day that I thought I was gonna love because I think I'd heard Jaclyn Hill talk about it, and I was like, well, if Jaclyn Hill likes it, then like I must like it. And I tried to use it, and it was like ashy. It made me look like sick. And so I'm gonna try this one out. I'm hoping that this is the shade that I need. It's not like super buttery like my Benefit one or my Anastasia one, but I think it's more so my shade and won't make me look um, like death. I'm gonna fill these in off camera and I'll let you know how this uh, brow definer stylus little jigger works, okay? Okay, so I'm back and I finished my brows and I filled them in and the more I use this, the easier that it glided on. So it started getting but more buttery the more I like warmed it up. So I think it might have just been where it was kind of cold and hadn't been used before. But I really like this. Like it's a good little brow pencil. So now I'm going to do my eyes. So I went ahead and primed my eyes. I didn't get like a special primer or anything because you can literally just use concealer. That's what I always use and it always works, I mean, the best for me. So what I'm gonna do now is use this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. And this is a smoky palette, but it looks like this. And it has like basically any neutral, any neutral color that you would want. And it's really, really pretty. And I used it the other night just to see if I liked it. And I ended up really liking it. The pigment's good in it. I mean, especially for drugstore. I'm going to be using another one too. And it's the Milani Bold Obsessions. And this is in the, this is in the palette number 02. And um, the back of it tells you all the shade colors and stuff like that, which I really like. Um, but it looks like this, and it is gorgeous. It's so pretty. I'm gonna be taking the second shade right here. It's more of like a, like an orangey banana, like a, in between the yellow and the orange, like a creamsicle color. And I'm just gonna dust that all over the lid. And this is the Sigma E38 brush. And I'm just sweeping it all over. So I'm gonna do the same to this eye, and I'm just gonna dust it all over the eye. So then I'm gonna take a brown shade right here. It's a cool tone brown shade, and I'm gonna put that in my crease. I'm gonna use this Sigma E35, and it looks just like this. It's just like a little blending brush. And I'm gonna dip into that cool tone brown color and go ahead and put that in my crease. So then I'm gonna dip in and do the same thing to the other eye. So we're just gonna keep adding dimension to our look. This is really how you can get a good look is just by adding more, adding more, adding more dimension because especially with dark looks like this, I don't like to go in with like a super dark color first. Some people do and that's fine. I'm just not one of those people. I like to build. So now I'm going to dip in this gray color. It's not as light as it looked. I'm gonna take that all the way down to the lash line right here. 
and then just continue to work up. And this is a Morphe M433. So we're, I'm just putting this gray color just a little bit below that cool tone brown. And all the colors we're using today are cool tone. I'm not using any warm tones. When you think when I think of a smoky eye, like this is what I think of. I'm just making sure that this is all good and blended. And then I'm gonna take my brush, the Sigma E38 that I was using, and it doesn't have any more product left on it. So I'm just gonna go back over and just make sure all those edges are blended out really good. So I'm taking this, uh, this is a Mikasa E300. So I'm just gonna dip in that darker brown shade and then I'm gonna put it right on the outside, just close to my lash line. And then I'm gonna bring it over towards the middle of my lid and then continue to blend just into those two colors that I just blended. And I'm gonna move, I'm gonna bring it over just a tad, but not too much. But I'm gonna keep it right there close to my lash line on the outside. So to lay this black down, I'm gonna be using this Mikasa E250 and I'm gonna dip in this black shade right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start I'm going to start close to my lash line. I'm going to start just blending. And then I'm going to bring it over just a little bit in that crease. And I'm just continuing to blend this out. And so we're going to take this side and do the same thing. I'm going to stay close to the lash line. And then we're going to kind of make flicking motions like upwards. So that's pretty much our smoky eye. I think it looks pretty good. It's smoky, which is what we wanted. But I'm going to smoke out that lash line and do a couple other little things that are going to really make the difference. I'm going to use, so I'm going to dip into this Milani palette again. And I'm going to use some of the shimmers in here. So I'm going to mix some shimmers. So I'm going to be mixing this gold shade right here and this champagne color together. And I'm going to be taking that and putting that on my lid. Dang! I'm impressed. Wow. Okay, Milani. Okay. Okay, so like, go buy this. It is, what? I cannot believe that drug, that's drugstore, honestly. Look at, I cannot, the pigment in this is ridiculous. There is a little bit of fallout, but I mean, for like, six bucks like, actually this palette may be a little bit more than six bucks because it has more colors they do make like baby palettes and i haven't tried them but i bet they are bomb i'm just going to basically do the same thing that i did on the top on the bottom i'm going to go in with this darker brown color right here on a smudge brush this is a m508 just go on my lower lash line so i can smoke it out and I'm just dragging that down as I go. Now I'm gonna take this uh, Mikasa E310 and I'm gonna use the gray color and go underneath there as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this, where's my Luxie brush? Because it's my new favorite brush. It's the Luxie 237 blending brush and it looks like this. I'm gonna take uh, this darker gray, I guess, and I'm just gonna tap into that. Just kinda work that into my lower lash line. I'm going back in with the big guns. I'm using my Beauty Blender and I'm gonna bake my under eye and go ahead and put that up through there. Okay, so then for the my bottom lash line, I'm using this uh, eye coal and it's the Maybelline Lasting Drama and it looks just like this and it's just a pencil. It's not twisty, you just sharpen it. And what I'm gonna do is kinda like tight line my top, my the top, so I'm just gonna make, put this on my top lash and make flicking motion. So I'm just gonna flick that upwards. And again, you don't really have to be neat with this either. I'm just. And I'm also not taking it all the way in, just on the outer half of my eye. So I'm going to take that brush that I use on my lower lash line. It's really like I use it as a smudge, a smudge brush. But I'm going to pick up a little bit more product. So I'm going to take uh, the e.l.f. dark black color right here. 
and I'm going to put it on this smudge brush, the Morphe M508, and I'm going to just kind of work that in. So I'm going to make motions, just kind of squiggly motions going in. So you're going to start at the at your lash line, just kind of make zigzagging motions up. So I'm going to dip back in and do the same thing on the other eye. So what I'm going to do now is contour my face while I'm baking. For bronzer now, I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And this is in the shade bronzer. They have a light bronzer too. And it looks like this on the inside. And it smells like coconuts. And I'm using a Mikasa F100. And I'm, it's like just a big old fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put this in the areas that I need some color because I'm looking pasty right now. And then I'm going to contour my face with, so I'm going to take this Mikasa F1, F111 and it looks like this and it's just like a small, a smaller tapered like fluffy brush and this is going to allow me to get in like the hollows of my cheeks really good. And I'm using the Maybelline Master Bronze Face Studio for my contour and it looks just like this. And I think it gives you like a really good range of color for highlight and contour and I'm going to be using this color right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and bake my face and I'm gonna use the same beauty blender and my Cody Airspun. Oh, my nose is itching. So for my blush, I wanted to keep it kind of neutral. So I'm doing the Burt's Bees blush with bamboo in shade 1205 Bare Peach. And it looks just like this. For my highlight, I'm going to be using the Master Chrome by Maybelline Metallic Highlighter. And the front of it looks like this. And then inside it looks like this. It's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to dip this in here just like this. Just kind of go all around. And then I'm going to put it on the high of my cheekbone. And then I'm going to take this and highlight my inner corners with it. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lashes, so I'm going to curl them on. And I'm going to be using the Ardell Double Wispies. They're like the Demi Wispies times two. So you don't have to stack them, you can just buy these, they're already stacked, which is great. So I'm going to apply these real quick and I'll be right back. Oh, grrr. I got my lashes on now. And I used, um, I went ahead and put my mascara on uh, before my lashes. And I used the Voluminous Lash Paradise, which is literally what I always use. For my lash glue, I used the Duo Brush On Adhesive Lash Glue. I really like the Duo Lash Glue the best. So for my lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Lingerie. And this is in shade 03 Lace Detail. And I overline my lips. Like always. I like my lips to look big. And I put a couple coats on this because sometimes it goes on a little patchy. And this look looks good with matte or glossy lips. I actually put a poll on my Instagram the other day when I did this look for the first time. And asked if people liked glossy or matte lips. And the majority said glossy. So for my gloss, I'm using the Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss in shade 01 Champagne. And I just put this directly over this. But I, I concentrate it more so in the center of the lips. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do after my lips is put on my brow gel and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Active Sweat Resistant Clear Brow Gel and it looks just like this. It's like in a neon green tube and the applicator for the brow gel is kind of funky. It is like a really skinny applicator. So I'm just going to brush this through my brows and the good thing about this applicator though is it does let you place your lash or your uh, brows where you want them to go. So if you have thin brows, it'll be good for grabbing onto them and really making sure that they are where you want them to be. Dude, my neighbors are raging right now. What are they doing? They were partying last night until like 4 a.m. And today they're jamming their music. Like what? I want to know where they get their energy. Like Jesus. 
And then for setting spray, I'm going to use the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist. And it looks like this. And I got this at Target. And I'm just going to set my face with it. And then try not to make any sudden movement so it can dry. Alright guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I can't wait to see you back next time. It's just been a long, really long day, honestly. <laughs> I love foundation. Lips are so cute. Oh my god, it's really disgusting. I don't got no time on no games. The only color right